Hey everybody, this is Walter Rosendez with Access Electric, and today I wanted to talk to you about Ohm's Law. Ohm's Law is a fundamental requirement for if you are in the electrical or electronic fields. It doesn't matter how small the circuit gets or how large the circuit gets, you're going to have to have a basic understanding of Ohm's Law. Actually, you're going to have to master it. So I wanted to go through uh, the Ohm's Law wheel and go over uh, some of the concepts for memorizing every single one of these formulas. And if you can't memorize them, then how to derive them from some with some very simple tools. So let's get right into it. All right, so this is the Ohm's Law wheel with all the formulas to find wattage, amperage, voltage, and resistance uh, in Ohm's Law. These are all the formulas. So here we have the power wheel. Uh, most people would understand this to be the power wheel, and this is going to help us memorize a few formulas. In this, It actually will help us memorize three of the 12 formulas in this wheel. Um, we can see P is equal to I times E, E is equal to P over I, and I is equal to P over E. Uh, so if it's horizontal on the wheel, it would be multiplication. If it's vertical on the wheel, it will be division. Uh, so you might look at this as your divisor, your divisor right here. You might look at this as your, your multiplier. So I times E equals P. Uh, so this is going to give us three formulas in the in the in this wheel and you can see I have them highlighted for you it's gonna give us P equals I times E it's gonna give us I equals P over E and it's also gonna give us E equals P over I there's one more wheel that we could bring into this equation which is just the small Ohm's law wheel and here we will have another three formulas. So with these two little tools, we've, we can know six of the 12 formulas on the wheel. And so this will give us E equals I times R, I equals E over R, and R equals E over I. And same way, R equals E over I, I equals E over R, E equals I times R. So very, very simple. But what about all these other formulas with all these squares and square roots? How can we use these two wheels to derive the answers or to derive these formulas if we don't have them memorized? That's what I wanna show you today. So first of all, let's begin with this formula right here. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring on the screen the formula that we all know. So P equals I times E. So that's the formula we know already. We can see it represented right here on our wheel. Um, I have the E and the I transposed here, but I memorized it this way because it spells pi. It's just easy to remember. So we both formulas have wattage. Both formulas have amperage. But here I have voltage and I need resistance. So is there a formula I can substitute for E that will give me resistance? Well, sure. We know E equals I times R. So if I get E out of the way, I can replace E with I times R. And so if I do this formula, if I do the mathematics on this formula, you have two I's, let's square our I's, and there you go. P equals I squared times R. So we've derived this formula from our two small little power wheels, the power wheel and the Ohm's law wheel. All right, how about let's go to the next formula. So we're gonna look to see how we can get P equals E squared over R. So we're gonna begin again with pi, P equals I times E. So here we know we have, we know we want watts, we have voltage in our formula, but we don't have resistance. Uh, what we have is amperage, and we don't really need it in our equation. So is there a formula where I equals something with resistance? Well, sure. 
I equals E divided by R. So if we get I out of the way and replace it with E divided by R. All right, and so then if we square the E, we have E squared over R equals P. So we've derived the second of our last six formulas. The next formula, let's put everything back. We'll go over to the next formula. Now we're looking for ohms. We're looking for resistance. And how do we get this formula? Well, first of all, let's begin with the formula we know. We know that R equals E over I. So we'll start out with that formula. And so we, in this formula, we have resistance, we have amperage, but we need wattage. Uh, and we have this formula, we have voltage. So is there a formula over here where we can replace voltage with a formula with wattage? Well, sure, voltage equals wattage divided by amperage. So let's move the E out of the way and let's replace it with P divided by I. And then there's two I's there. So let's square our I's, bring the P down and there you go. Resistance equals power divided by amperage squared. All right, let's go to the next formula. We're gonna go look at resistance. How do we find resistance if voltage and wattage are known? So first, let's start out with the formula, formula that we know. We know that resistance equals voltage over amperage. So I have my resistance there, I have my voltage there, but I don't need the amperage in this formula. So we're gonna replace it with the power wheel. So we know that amperage equals wattage divided by voltage. So let's replace the I, let's get that out of the way. We'll bring wattage over divided by voltage. And so they have our formula and then the E's will square and you have E squared over P equals R. Great, two formulas to go. Let's put our everything back in our power wheel. And now we're going to look at voltage. How do we solve for voltage if wattage and resistance are known? Well, if we don't know this formula, we're gonna begin with a formula that we do know. E equals I times R. We'll begin there. So here we see that we have voltage, we have our resistance, but we need to find our wattage. Again, we have amperage here that we don't need, so let's replace amperage with our power wheel. So let's get the I out of the way. We know that I equals P divided by E or wattage over voltage. And we are going to square our voltage. And so we have voltage squared equals wattage times resistance. And then to get rid of that square, we will square both sides. And so we'll get the square root of power over resistance equals voltage. And finally, coming to our last formula, put everything back. Again, we'll start with a formula that we know. Amperage equals power divided by voltage. So how do we get to this formula? So we have our amperage, we have our wattage, uh, but we don't have resistance. So if we look at our wheel over here, we see that E equals I times R. So let's move the E and we'll replace the E with I times R. All right, so we have amperage on both sides of the equation here. They will square, and we have I squared equals wattage over resistance. Let's square root both sides, and you have the square root of power over resistance equals amperage. So there it is, folks. If you have these two small power wheels, the power wheel and the Ohm's Law wheel, you can find all 12 formulas on the Ohm's Law wheel. So anyway, if you like these videos, remember to give us thumbs up. If you want to subscribe to our channel, please hit subscribe. And until then, we'll see you in the next video.